Hello beautiful people, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to talk about eight baby boy names that we loved but did not use. Roll the intro. So we had a super difficult time trying to decide on a name. We literally decided his name like last minute. It was like four weeks before he was yeah. born. So we decided on Zen. For those of you that don't know, this is a little Zen right here. He's kind of crabby right now, but he's chilling. Eric was the one that thought of it. I think you literally said to me, what about Zen? I don't know. I just have always liked word names. Like word names. Names that are also <laughs> words. We like, like the meaning of Zen. With other meanings. Maybe all names are that. I don't know. Yeah. But you get my point. Yeah. So Zen is the name that we went with. But today we're going to go over some other names that we really liked, but obviously they didn't make the cut. So, <clears throat> let's get started. Zen is going to be teleporting throughout this whole video, <laughs> by the way. So, coming in at number one, these are in no order, but number one is going to be Shia. So, S-H-I-A. I thought of it from Shia LaBeouf. I just always thought his name was cool. Honestly, this one just didn't stick. I don't think Cody ended up really liking it. I don't really it. love it, to be honest. Yeah, so that one was close, but didn't didn't make the cut for Cody. So the next one um, is Beckham. And the story behind Beckham is my maiden name is Beck. So we kind of thought it would be cool to incorporate that since my last name is gone, pretty much. We kind of thought of using Beckham as a middle name, but... We tried them out, and if they didn't flow, they didn't, didn't make go. the cut. If they didn't flow, they didn't go. All right, next name. This one we actually tried for a while, and it was the name for a while. That name is Silas, S-I-L-A-S. A lot of people were on board with this name. I feel like we got a lot of good reactions with this name. His nickname could have been Cy. That was another unique one that uh, we did not go with. The next name is Lux, L-U-X. I feel like for this one, the more we said it, it just kinda, I don't know, again, didn't really flow too much, but it was definitely a unique one. We liked that it was a three letter spelling. It had an X. I'm trying to think of where I got it. I think I got it half from the Dodgers. That guy's last oh, yeah. name, and then also, yeah, and then also, I don't know if anybody's like Bachelor or Bachelorette fans, but Lauren and Ari, they had twins, and they named their boy Lux, and I was like, oh, there it is again, and I just yeah. thought, I thought it was cute. So another good one there. This one was one that I was set on for a while, and I don't think she was ever on board with, but after the weekend, I I always thought the name Abel was super cool, A B E L. We you tried it that out. Name for a long time. That was like my first boy name that I was just like sold on in the very beginning. I don't know, we kind of like went over nicknames like Abe and Cody never got on board with it. So that one was tossed out, but I still really like that name. Next name is Miles, just the simple spelling M-I-L-E-S. I think at this point we were trying to like tone it down and just be like, all right, let's just like think of a nice like, I don't know. I feel like the rest of the names are kind of like, every reaction we got, people were like, hmm, okay, okay, cool. And then when we said Miles, you know, people were like, oh, that's so cute, you know, because it's just like a classic name, I feel like. That one, um, we both really liked for a while. And then the more we were saying it, we were like, oh, I'm, not, I'm not thinking that's the one for our boy. You, you don't like names that end in like S. There was a weird thing for me with names that end in S because when you're talking about ownership, like Miles's or Silas's. Or Lux's. Well, Lux's isn't that bad. Yeah, yeah. But anything ending in S was tough for me, to be honest. Yeah. All right, next name. We got two more. Next one is Kai. K-A-I. This one, another one that I really liked. Um, I just, it always made me think of like anime specifically. Dragon Ball Z. Thought it was a cool one that you don't really see everywhere. Wasn't Cody loving was it. Cody was very picky, but I love that name. And then the next, oh, the last one is Ocean. That was actually his name right up until we changed it to Zen. I feel like it fits since we moved to California for some reason. I don't know. I feel like that fits the vibe. It has a similar meaning to us as Zen does. Like Ocean and Zen, they just kind of like bring Cody and I peace and. They were just like names that made us feel happy. You know what I mean? And that's why. We were set on ocean for a while and then we thought of Zen and that one just took we the cake. It. Yeah. Well that pretty much wraps up this video. Honestly, I hope that going over these names can help somebody out there pick a boy name for Get their um, expectant baby. Because boy names are tough. 
We didn't know the gender at first, and we honestly were feeling like he was gonna be a girl before we knew, so we had like girl names on lock. And then we found out he was a boy, and then we were like, oh shoot, we have like none of those except for Abel. I hope this helps you. If you guys liked it, leave it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, we usually do like lifestyle videos, vlog style videos, but we're just sprinkling in some sit down videos since we have the time. And yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Adios, amigos. Bye. Here's the Krabby Baby, Krabby Baby, Krabby Baby, Krabby Baby. <laughs>